Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a rainy day here in North Carolina. I have a winter sewing dilemma that I have really been pondering and think I have come up with a great workaround. And I kind of wonder if any of you are in the same boat. So I am obviously coming to you from my greenhouse, uh, number one, because it's raining and number two, because I have just gone through all of my winter sewing containers out in my garden and I want you to see how many of them have not germinated at all. That's a lot. And this is how many I have. My, our chairs are out here from the eclipse. <laughs> I need to take them inside, but these are how many I have that have germinated. So I'm gonna say half have not germinated, half have germinated. So when it comes to winter sowing, I have a, a very different mindset than I think. It probably is very cringy for some, but I am the one that is going to do whatever it takes to have plants at the end of my winter sowing season. Now, with that being said, that means I will cover them with a blanket. If I have to take them and put them in my greenhouse or inside, if we have germinated containers, obviously none of these are germinated, but if we have germinated containers and we have many, many days of freezing temperatures, because as I said, my goal at the very end of this is to have plants. I'm not trying to win an award for being the toughest, holding out all the things that I'm, I guess I'm, I'm not hardcore, I guess would be the right term. So with that being said, I am very bothered by the fact that I have all of these containers and no plants growing in them. So, because I'm not willing to just say, you know what, okay, yeah, I had a bunch that didn't grow. No, I'm not gonna do that. So what I decided is let's think this through. Let's think of a workaround and I am going to experiment with something and I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Um, but you, my friends, are going to be the first to know, probably the only that would even care if you even care, uh, what I'm doing. But maybe this is something you want to experiment with as well because I know there are plenty of you out there that are having the same issues. So I've got two issues going on. Number one, I have, do you see this great big fat thing? That's a slug. And I'm sure there's all these little baby slugs all around it. So I have a couple of my uh, containers that have germinated that are munched. The leaves are munched because of our friends, the slugs. So although I don't like to kill things, uh, what my first idea is, and I wanna know, have any of you tried this and what are your thoughts? But I think I'm going to take the snail and slug bait that I put out one time last year and it took care of it all season. Um, I think I'm going to sprinkle a little bit in each container. What are your thoughts on that? Um, they are really munching. So like some are not going to have leaves left if I just leave it alone. Okay. That's number one. I think that is my workaround is to put out some snail bait or slug bait. Number two, I have containers that have zero germination, like none, nothing's happening in there. I have all of these containers. And so I decided that we are going to winter sow and call it spring sowing. I am going to go through and I am going to cut open all of these containers, like I just did this one. And I am actually going to wipe off the mold kind of turn over the soil a little bit, and then I'm going to re-sow the seeds. I am going to close the containers back up, let them see if I can get them to germinate. I think I'm going to move everything up closer to my house where it's not sitting out on bare dirt for the uh, slugs and whatever to get in it. I think I'm gonna put it up on my driveway. My husband's gonna really love this one. I know, and my neighbors probably too. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. And instead of, I, I, my, in my mind, I'm gonna think out loud. 
really quick. Okay, so in my mind, what works in my mind, which in my mind is, is, is it's scary, but in my mind, I think this is still a greenhouse, okay? So I'm going to open it. I'm going to get the seeds back right. And then I'm going to close it up and I'm going to let this act as a little, um, not incubator, a little greenhouse, okay? So what I think I wanna do is open them up, re-sow, close them back up, let this act as an insulator for the seeds, let the seeds germinate. Then when I open the other containers, I'll probably open the ones that have seedlings and just care for them as if they are planted in containers outdoors or sown in seed trays without the, um, the moisture dome or humidity dome on top of it like we do inside, okay? So my thought is go ahead and let them get germinated, have this layer of protection. That prohibits birds from eating the seeds. It also gives it a little bit of protection, keeps it warm at night because we're still kind of going through the temperatures. I'm about a week and a half from my last frost. In theory, uh, I haven't. the weather looks beautiful, but who knows what the next couple of weeks will hold. And then I know that I'm not going to have these plants to plant out when I have the other ones to plant out because it, they're just not gonna be big enough, okay? So what I may do is get them started in here. And then once they get two sets of leaves on them, transplant them and let them finish growing out in the garden if we are past the last frost. So I realize that is so much talking. I'm sure that is too much, but I wanted to ask your opinion on doing this. What do you think about that? Do you think it will work like I do? I really, really feel like this is the best option because I don't, again, want to say, uh, I just had these that didn't germinate and that's that. I want all the beautiful flowers that I can and I'm still early enough that I feel like I can plant seeds. I also feel like last year, for example, I planted sunflowers I wanted sunflowers, the birds kept eating them. Um, and so mid June, I planted a tray of sunflowers and put it out on my back porch and just really protected them with the seed dome, got them to jump up and then I opened it up and I took care of them until I planted them out and they were beautiful. So my in my thought, you can start seeds anytime, anytime. And that is why I am going to go through and do this, okay? So I want your opinion. I'm posting this ahead of doing this. I want your opinion. This is more of just me saying, hey, what do you think? What do you think about the slug? Do you have any objections to that? And then I'm gonna, based off of your comments, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and plant these, but the slug part, I'm gonna wait to hear from you on. That's why I love y'all. Third thing I wanna tell you, I have my course ready to launch. I am so excited. So if you don't know anything about starting seeds and you're interested, I want to give you the opportunity to check out my course. And I really, really, really feel like you will find benefit in it. So feel free. You have it for life. You go at your own pace. You can go back and rewatch. But I teach you start to finish. If you've never even touched a seed and put your hands in the soil, I teach you how from start to finish. I also give you my tips and tricks on hardening off, potting up, um, all the things. Okay. So check that out. I'll put the link below and I really, really want to ask your opinion. So tell me what you think. All right. I hope you have a fantastic day. Go out and get your hands dirty and go ahead and look for tomorrow, the video of these being planted back up. Maybe Saturday because today's Thursday. Okay. All right. Have a great day.